Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So the question has been asked by you guys, can the All I Do do a loop? And what I'm thinking that question really is in a more professional manner is how maneuverable is the AGM 62 All I Do? And it just so happens that this is my favorite weapon in DCS of all time, so I am more than happy to experiment with it. So first things first, let's take it at face and you know see if it can do a loop. So let me just fly here. Just gonna pause it there. So I'm here, Mount Idris, uh, I think it's called, is in the way there, and a hostile camp is down there. Now for some reason, I don't wanna present myself to this hostile camp. Let's just pretend it's an S300 or something. So I wanna stay my side of the mountain. So the first thing I'm gonna try is tossing the bomb over the mountain, which I know should work pretty much but that's not enough i wanted to do a loop so go up and then flip back on itself and then come back down and hit it see if that works if that doesn't work i want to see if i can bend it like in pool or snooker when you bend the ball around another ball let's we can bend it around the mountain here to hit it there this is the first missile we actually get to drive you know actually physically drive the missile from the missile's view which is why it's so just amazingly cool technology back in the cockpit just get i'm just going to go in cheat mode uh just want to get everything set up so i don't cock it up that's set up, that's set up. I've got a waypoint on the target to help me identify it. Uh, sequence that. I think that's everything, so off we go. Big, fat, beautiful walleye. Make sure we're heading for the waypoint so we can get it roughly on target, give it the best chance we can. Uncage the weapon. Quiet, buddy. And that's going to be weapon released there. A little bit off target, but should be okay. Right, uh, select that. Weapon's uncaged. We're going to drive the weapon now. And see, drive it up as high as we can. And see what we can do with that. So we've hit the list slew limit there. So we're not going any further now. What's it doing? Okay, it's going up, but it's not going vertical. Let's keep pushing it round. Keep pushing it up. No, it's not going to do it. It's not going to let me go any further up than about that. And now it's stalling, look. So I've got a very small limit of how much I can drive it. And now it's just running out of kinetic, look. So am I, actually. Yeah, so it's just, it allows it to loft a few miles, but that's it. Uh, let's see about how far I can bend it sidewards then. So I'm going to bend it sidewards now. It's got some energy back in it now. Let's bend it left. Mm, not very far. Very limited, and I can't bend it any more than that. Very limited scope of what I can, how I can actually move this missile then with it within its natural kind of kinetic fall. So you can see there, this was as far as I could make it go with those with that profile of drop. I couldn't make it go up anymore, and I couldn't make it go left anymore either. So my hopes of making it do a loop is not going to happen. My hopes of bending around the mountain simply isn't going to happen. What I can adjust is roughly where it falls, uh, more or less on the screen, what you're seeing in the screen here. I can make it fall just about anywhere in that screen in terms of ground impact, but mm, pretty much nothing else. Bit disappointing, but... That's just how the wall eye is. So everyone wants to see some bang bang, so let's just go and show tossing it over the mountain, I suppose. Right. Open away. Ah, oh, what a cool thing, right? Look at it just toss over that hill. So cool. I better think about aiming it now, so I'm going to drive it down towards the ground now. Down, 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 down. Look for the target. Where's the target? Stand by. Ah, there it is, right below it. Look, I've got to take some energy out of this thing quick. Where is it going? Where is it going? There it is! Right. Uh, where are my little goodies? There they are, I see them, look. So I've got to get a contrast lock on now if I can. It can be a a little bit awkward enough. Okay, it's got a lock. We can just pretty much follow it in now and try not to crash. Stand by. Well, this is going to be definite boom boom, look. There's no doubt about it. Definite boom boom. Conveniently placed AAV7s. Woohoo! Woot woot! So, yeah. That's pretty good. We tossed it over the mountain and direct it onto the target. So we have that maneuverability within that kind of natural kinetic drop box area of kind of a mile, two miles by two miles, something like that. But we certainly can't flip, uh, you know, flip it over. We can't bend it around things per se. 
Uh, so that's the final answer on that. I hope that was enjoyable. See you later.